For 15 years, Willie Mason was one of the NRL's most feared enforcers. And in a little over three weeks, he'll be back doing exactly that. Although this time, it'll be in a boxing ring, not on the footy field. When he fights Sam Thane on the All-Stars Fight Night Rugby League Rivals card on February the 12th in Townsville, the former Test and Bulldogs Premiership winner joins me now. Willie, great to see you. You are no stranger to the boxing ring. You fought twice, going in for a third time. Uh, how... How did you get convinced into this? Um, Nick Livermore, um, I think he asked me about two months ago and I was like, I was, I was a little bit keen. I was like, oh, I don't really want to do that. I know how much hard work it takes to actually get into the ring and I respect boxing so much. I was like, no, nah, I, don't, I don't really feel it. And about a month later, which was about a month ago, wow. I, just, I just decided, um, <laughs> oh yeah, I'll, I'll have a crack. That was just before Christmas. So I was like, oh, I'll get Christmas out of the way, New Year's, and then I'll start training. So been training with uh, Trent Langley's for about three weeks now, so it's intense. It's, it's hard, man. It's, it's something that you've got to really put your head down and do and commit to it like 100%. It's nothing you can just go 50-50, so... Wow. So you committed to this just a month ago. That yeah. is quite insane. <laughs> uh, hopefully you are in shape and fit, yeah. ready to go. You look like you are, so yeah. fingers crossed you'll be fine. Your opponent, though, Sam Thida, he beat Ben Tamiafuna. Uh, what, what do you make of Sam Thida as a boxer? Oh, he's highly skilled. I mean, we, we both fought Ben. Yeah. And uh, he's a big boy. He's very difficult to beat. And um, we both got a, a W against him. I don't think I actually beat him. He, he cracked me about 10 times. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing, but it was, it was quite fun. And, and Sammy's got... Um, he's quick on his feet. He always has been. This is five years ago. We understand. We're like... I'm 40. I think Sammy's like 37, 38. Both retired footballers. So I'm not sure what they're expecting. It's probably going to be like Ali and Frazier. But like after the, after the 14th round when we're just both sitting there buggered after about a minute, <laughs> after about a minute up there. So it's going to be, uh, it'll be, it'll be fun. We look forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Now let's take a look at some of your previous fights. Uh, your first one was a charity fight back in 2012 mm. against Troy Flavel in, um, you know, 2012, as I say, quite a few years ago now. Yeah, at that, ages ago. Yeah, at that time, did you think that you would be back in the ring eight years later? I, I, it went through my mind because the first one was so fun. It was, it was, it's a shock to the system. Mm. Um, it's because we're, we're, we're professional athletes, um, but rugby league players, people get it twisted when um, you see guys crossing over. And this is just for charity. That's all it is. This is raising charity and just to get fit and just to test yourself. We don't ever, we're not going into the boxing realm. Guys like Gal and Sonny Bill and, and, and Baz, they, they're boxers. You know, they're boxers now because they've retired from their sports and they do that. But I never thought I'd get back into the ring after that one, but then I did against Ben, and now I'm doing it again. So it's just a bit of a bit of a thrill, I suppose. Let's I don't talk. mind getting hit in the head and just getting paid for it. it's fine. Been doing that for Righto. 15 years. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Be careful of the concussions, though. Yeah. Uh, you say you talk about Ben, and you did fight him. That was your second fight in 2014. Yeah. Um, ben is a big boy. He was the largest rugby union player on the planet oh, at the time. Yeah. How hard was that coming up against him? It would have been pretty daunting. You would have thought. So hard. He got me like he got me a couple of <laughs> decent hits. Um, he he's very hard to fight because look, he's quick as well, mm. and um, yeah, like he's solid as a rock. He's about 150 kilos there. Wow. Uh, yeah, he's scary to fight because he's quick, he's short, he's nuggety. Yeah, it was it was hard. See right there where you're putting your. Yeah, arm I don't up. think I actually don't think I won. Like I think and Benny's such a good bloke and he took it, but um, yeah, I sort of know. Like I got a couple of decent hits on him. It was a good fight, but yeah, I don't think um. Look at that. At least I can cop a hit, eh? There you go. Sammy, you'll have to hit me harder than that. <laughs> Bring it on, Sammy. Uh, we've actually got some vision of what could have been your first fight. Take a look at the screen now because we're going to play some vision from back in 2006. Uh, you v Great Britain enforcer Stuart Field, and uh, if we've got that vision, we'll play it. But um, you get a little bit heated out on the field and you cop in one. There you go. We've got the vision there. Test your match. right arm, <laughs> your right arm. Do you, uh, is that where you realise, actually, I might be able to give this a go, this boxing thing? I think I realised that when I, was, when I grew up in Toronto West. I could, um, I could actually throw them all right. But um, it was, uh, that, that's, a test, that's test football mm. at its best there. Uh, Pommies versus, versus Australia there. And um, that was just already, always fiery games. Mm. Like, that was going to happen all the time, every single game. Like, I mean, you know, guys like Fitzy and Mark O'Mealy, Gordon Tallis, all these fire brands just used to play for Australia. They, 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 set, they set the tone years ago. Chief and Ciro and all these guys and all the legends that, that are worn that jersey. So it's sort of embedded in you to get out there and have a crack against the Poms. So 
that, that was years ago as well. 16 <laughs> years ago, 14 years ago, something like that. Bringing back memories, hey? Mm. Uh, you've got three weeks until you do fight Sammy. How's training going? Because as you say, you only really committed four weeks ago. Mm. That's not a very long time to get mm. into prime peak condition. Yeah. Um, it's pretty good. Like my, my trainer there, Trent Langlands, is, um, he's well into uh, movements, you know, like uh, functional patterns, movements, but he's, he specialises in boxing. So um, he's got to keep just a little bit, just got to do a little bit of everything. Boxing is the hardest thing, you know, but you can't really emulate going into the ring a full fight because you can only do that when you're in the ring. Even though sparring is, is quite interesting, it's still not 100%. Like I've sparred before for the last two fights, the last two fights I've had. Plus I was in pre-season with NRL clubs. I was fit as hell. Still blowing out within a minute of like first, the first round. It's just a different sort of... Um, different sort of tiredness, it's, it's terrible. So I don't know how you sort of get out there and try and... Unless you're getting into flat out fights every single week, which I'm not. So it's just got to be a lot more efficient at this age. What does your training schedule look like? Um, probably training at least two times, a, two times a day. I do sprint training with Roger Fabry. Um, and then I coincide that with boxing training. I train at E-Lab where, where Trent Langlands is. A heap of like, just say like Pilates, yoga, all that kind of stuff. I was doing this well before I even started boxing. So I was in all right shape anyway. So I just got to get my um, shoulders more endurance sort of thing and get, so, get boxing fit. Yep. I'm not going to go out there with bad intentions to try and kill Sammy. This is not a, this is not a, there's no bad intentions out there. This is just a bit, a bit of fun and everything, everything goes to charity and, you know, it'll be, it's just good to get fit and see all the boys up there. It's a pretty good card. A couple of those guys up there, like Todd Carney, Matty Bowen, Craig Gower, big Josh Papali's going out there, yeah. fighting Ben Hannett. Yeah. Benny yeah. Hannett, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, my Lord. It's going to be a great oh, card. Oh, big papa, take it easy. Yeah, yeah, it is going to be a great card. Yeah, uh, be fun. After this one, though, will you fight again? I'm not sure. I, I'm not, I, probably if, with little cards like this, nothing like Paul Gallen calling out Mark Hunt or anything like that. I don't want to get hit that hard. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. And just before I let you go, do you have a message for Sammy? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're well, mate. Just take it easy on me. Watch the teeth. <laughs> nice one, nice one. Uh, Willie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank here you. On Fox Sports. Thank you, guys. All the best.